All right, so I'm here with my official opinion on the Xbox One. They just had the big reveal like two days ago. And, uh, you know, I watched some of it. I read some interviews online uh, that happened after they revealed it. And I'm not the only one who's complaining here, but I'm very unimpressed. Uh, a lot of fucking critics, a lot of people saying that it's cool. It's kind of split down the middle. I have never seen this before. Usually when there's a big reveal, the fanboys get all excited and they get behind it. You got a few naysayers, but you know, pretty soon everybody usually accepts the system. This time around, not the case because it sounds pretty fucking retarded. And the presentation... You know, you got a lot of publications that are paid off that are saying that, you know, we're taking it too seriously. Ah, you know, it, it sucked. The presentation wasn't good. You know, when they revealed the, the past two Xboxes, they were impressive. They showed us some games that were very interesting and innovative. This time around, the uh, we, we see a bunch of sports games. You know, if we're not a fan of sports, then, uh, you know, I guess we're out of luck. They show us Call of Duty, but it, it's not... It, you know, what they showed us, most of it wasn't even regular gameplay. It just shows that they're very unprepared. It, you know, a lot of it is just, um, you know, video footage that's going to play during the cutscenes. They they show that. You know, they always do that type of shit, showing cutscenes. The video from the cutscenes, which is not actual gameplay. And they show it like this is something impressive, like I'm supposed to get excited about it. Then a big portion is dedicated to Steven, uh, Steven Spielberg, who's going to be um, producing the uh, Halo TV series. And who the fuck gives a shit? Everyone knows this is going to suck. It, it, it is. I mean, you know, just to give you an example of like how certain things shouldn't be a TV series. Look at the Terminator, the Sarah uh, Connor Chronicles. Like there's some things that are not destined to be a TV series. TV series is, you know, it's, it's not a good idea. And to dedicate, this is a, you know, a, a system reveal. It's like, oh, we ain't got anything else, guys. Uh, show them the Halo TV series. You know, what? what is this? And first of all, let's talk exactly about the system and the specs behind it. Because this is what really matters. Not the Halo TV series, not the cutscene footage, but what is the Xbox exactly? The Xbox has voice recognition. You can multitask because watching a movie isn't enough. You have to go do a thousand other fucking things with it. I mean, I don't know who does this. You know, this is probably a great way of showing how the current generation is is just a bunch of fucking retards. Even my own generation is but is a bunch of fucking retards. You know, being an '87 baby, it's still that I'm, I'm, you know, uh, I'm surrounded by retards my own age. Even you can't even watch a fucking game or a fucking movie. You gotta be doing a thousand other fucking things. How are you, you know, people's attention spans are short enough. They're fucking dumb as it is. Now they ain't gonna even be paying attention to a movie. They're gonna be surfing the internet as they're watching the movie, and it's like, who the fuck needs to do this? You know, it's impressive that we've come to this point in technology i'm not you know knocking it but the, the way i see it is you know everybody is going to sway everything i say or they're going to shut the video off right there and make a comment but the thing is it's like you know it's impressive that they can do it that they have the technology you know you think back to the times of you know the snes and the sega genesis the n64 and the ps1 and you're like, you know, there was no way, no capability of doing such things. It's very impressive that they're pretty much mimicking computers now. And, uh, you know, that's impressive. But the thing is, it's they don't have anything else. There's no great games that they're showing for launch. Back in the day, it all used to be about the launch titles. All about the fucking games. All about the games. And now... You know, now we're talking about movies and shit like this. It's like, okay, there's Netflix. I have Netflix. I am very happy with my Netflix subscription. No complaints there. But, you know, they have nothing else. I mean, most of this shit was on the fucking, um, 
was on the fucking uh, Xbox 360. Did the multitask thing isn't impressive. I ain't, it ain't knocking my socks off him. I'm sorry. Just because I can, you know, do a little picture in picture thing, which is kind of retarded because why do you need to be doing two things at once? So that's completely unnecessary. And just a way of covering up that they have nothing else. And first of all, the design of this fucking system, it is fucking hideous. It looks exactly, and I kid you not, looks exactly like the first Xbox. And this brings me to another argument here, which I know people will, you know, get all my case because it's like a minor complaint, but sort of big in a way. Calling it the Xbox One, what is that? You know, as far as I remember, you know, the first Xbox is, you know, most people referred to it at, at the time that the 360 came out as just, you know, the first Xbox or the Xbox One. Now, they did the same thing with when the PS2 came out. Everybody refers to the normal PlayStation as PlayStation 1, PS1 to avoid confusion. Now they go ahead and call this Xbox One. And why is it Xbox One? It's not the first fucking system. It's the third system. So, you know, I don't understand it. You know, okay, now I understood the name Xbox 360. That's fine. Maybe not the best name for the system, but I'm not going to complain about something that happened eight years ago. You know, but um, it, it's a fine name. No complaints. It caught on at the time. But why not call the system Xbox Infinity like it was rumored to be called? That would make sense. That way, Xbox Infinity. Uh, how are they going to go beyond Infinity? It never ends, you know? Um, it, you know, it, it, it would be a really cool thing to name it. And it would, you know, make it seem like it was advanced even though it's not. I'm looking at it, it's a fucking toaster oven, basically. Even bigger than the first Xbox. And in this compact day and age, you know, like I know like cell phones, like they got bigger screens now, but they're a lot slimmer than they used to be. You know, a lot of people say that cell phones are going backwards, but the thing is, they're slimmer. If you remember that those, uh, you know, if, if you put a cell phone in your pocket, it'd be like a big bulge, like you had a, like some type of creepy boner or something. Um, but, you know, it's all about fucking, you know, slim and compact right now. That's, that's what it's all about. And, you know, the 360 was smaller. It had a lot of shoddy hardware. But the thing is, every single system was slimmer than the one before. The PS3, a little bit bigger than the PS2 slim, of course. You know, because they managed to get past that level of technology and figured out how to make it co more compact. But why is this thing so big? I don't understand. The, the fucking computer that I'm doing this video on right now is super slim. Doesn't even have a tower. Why is this thing almost the size of a fucking old school PC tower? Like, you know, it, it looks like a, fu a fucking toaster oven. You know, if anyone's got a little brother who's like half retarded or some shit, they might try stuffing some Eggo waffles in that shit. I mean, come the fuck on. What, what am I looking at here? What a shoddy presentation. Not just, you know, the, the unveiling, but the fucking system physically is just, it's fucking hideous. You know, what, what's it going to do? You know, it's a good thing it's got voice recognition. I'm going to fucking tell it it looks fucking ugly and see what it says back to me, like some serious shit, perhaps. You know, I, I, I don't know here, but um, it, let me just, you know, wrap this video up at one point. Um, the, first of all, the games itself, like I said, unimpressive, not impressed, a bunch of sports games. You know, as I said, not a sports gamer, so it doesn't really fucking matter to me. And a lot of other people aren't, so I don't know why they put so much emphasis on the sports games. I know they're big sellers, but, you know, you have a, other, a whole other market to market to. All right, so Call of Duty, big fucking deal. You know, Call of Duty, all the fucking games are basically the fucking same. You know, I'm not going to say they're bad games. They're good games, but they're not 
awesome or anything like that. And to have another fucking game that looks practically the same is not impressive. Showing me a fucking cutscene video is not going to fucking impress me one fucking bit. I'm, you know, I'm just going to say that. And what, what is this about the online? Can we get some clarification on the online? First, they come out and they say, they claim that you have to be connected to online at all times. You have to be connected to Xbox Live at all times. It was even a rumor, and now they're trying to shroud it because this is what all giant corporations do when they get caught doing fucked up business tactics. They say that, you know, they were going to charge you a service fee on top of your Xbox Live subscription fee. You know, of course that shit's going to go up. They already raised it, but a new system, they're going to raise it again probably. So, now, in a recent interview, um, somebody, and I think it was maybe from the, you know, Japan division of Microsoft, saying that you don't have to be connected at all times, but just some of the time. And it gets into a big gray area here where we just don't know what the fuck they mean. There's something about a check-in that you have to check in all your games every 24 hours or some shit. Put in a very bad way. The interviewer did an okay job trying to ask these questions. You can go read the interview at, at GameSpot.com. Um, you know, a good place for news as well as IGN, I suppose. But I read this at, at, at GameSpot. And uh, they basically asked the question... Do you or do you not have to be online at all times to play these games? Now, obviously, with multiplayer games, you have to be on there at all times. That makes sense. That's been there since the first Xbox. Okay, so how about single-player games? Why would you need to be connected at all times? Well, they're saying no. The internet does not always have to be connected. If your internet goes down, you can still play those single-player games. But then he comes right back and almost changes his mind and says, you know, but you will need to check in your game every 24 hours with a valid internet connection. Why? Why do you need to do that? What is this checking in thing? I mean, I don't understand it. Put the game in, fucking play it. Why do you need to check in? There's no reason that it needs to connect to an online network to be able to play. The hardware is right there. It's supposed to be super powerful. More powerful than, than the, you know, a lot of computers out there right now. You know, it, they, they're touting the specs, saying it's ultra powerful, even though, you know, the graphics that they did show that were in-game weren't that impressive. Um, you know, it should be able to handle just putting the fucking game in it. Why? Do you need to connect to the online network, to Xbox Live? Why do you have to check in? Now, you know, okay, so you might be saying, all right, Brad, well, you know, you've got an online connection, so what are you complaining about? The fact of the matter is, if this shit get, goes so sky high like I'm predicting, and I know it will, I'll fucking cancel that shit because it's getting fucking ridiculous. Well, first of all, you're going to be paying for this big fucking system that's probably going to cost anywhere between $500, $600, and probably even more, which is just insane in this current marketplace, in the fucking economy nowadays, which is not recovering at all. It's not doing any better than it was in 08. And, you know, they're going to come and they're, you know, they're going to obviously have to charge more because look at all the fucking shit they put on it. All unnecessary bullshit and all and all the fucking, you know, just physical uh, fucking body armor they put on this shit. It looks like a fucking Halo suit fucking stacked up to the fucking sky. You know what? It, it looks ridiculous. And this is obviously going to have to translate to more money, you know, to be able to produce such a monstrosity. It, you know, and the thing is, it's like, oh, along with that is they're going to obviously want to tack on fucking fees because this is the thing that's all fucked up. 
It doesn't matter. It's like a fucking cable bill. You would think that, you know, your loyalty to a fucking company would constitute them lowering the fucking fee. Instead, it just keeps going up and up no matter how long you stay loyal to the fucking company. They, they don't fucking care. It's just give me more money. Fucking pay for the fucking system. Pay more for the internet. And then have... You know, don't have the ability to just play without the internet. You need to have, and it's not just internet. Keep saying just internet. You have to have Xbox Live. That's the thing. You have to be hooked up to their thing. At least with Sony, they give you fucking free shit. And the thing is, the online might not be as, like, secure as Xbox Live. But I think that's just fucking bullshit at this point. Because I know a lot of people have fucking... Uh, the PS3 and they play just fine on the online without any problems. So fuck this fucking bullshit. Now I ain't a fucking Sony fanboy. I don't have a PS3 or anything. I have a 360 and a fucking Wii. And the thing is I'm just fucking sick and tired of them. You know Sony, a big company as well. They can afford to give us free internet. But this shit, it can't. And it's not even that impressive. You know, um, it, it's like a lot of the feet, and they're still not going to have certain features from like the PS3, like being able to share your downloaded shit. I didn't hear any mention of that. Maybe I missed it, but I didn't see anything with that. You know, if you trade your password to somebody, they can have ac access to some of your downloads or DLC. I didn't see any of that. Anyway, very unimpressed by this this Xbox One. The name doesn't make sense. The technology is unimpressive. The you know the sure to be sky high price point, it, it, you know, is it, just completely just retarded. I'm gonna have more on this as we get more information on the system. But just to give my overall official opinion, I don't like it. All right. <laughs>